Welcome to Channel 32 News. I'm Tom Johnson. Earlier this morning, Texas declares independence. Santa Ana, the leader of Mexico, has sent troops into Texas to take charge of the situation. We go live to Tim at the Alamo. Tim? Tom, it seems that the Mexicans have taken over and killed everybody at the Alamo. I'll take some statements from the Mexicans. Hey, Holmes, we took the Alamo from those gringos as hard now. Yes, Yay! I say! Yes, I, say. I only think one man can only save us. And that man, Sam Houston. Sam Houston and the American Army have arrived. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Surrender. Come on, we gotta get out of here before the troops come oh, back. Oh gosh! Come on! Oh, come, come on, on cameraman, we gotta get, get, back, out get back! Get out of here! Thank you, Tim. In other news, it seems that James K. Polk, the President of the United States, is looking to expand the U.S. We go live to his press conference. My fellow Americans, we will expand the United States. We're also gonna fight Canada and take their crap. 5440 or fight! What? But what does that mean? What's going on? News reports show that there has been a treaty to divide the U.S. and Great Britain territory. It seems that Polk's plan has failed to go all the way through. But getting something. It seems that America and Mexico are going to war over land. Our very own Tim is on the ground. Tim, to you. Tom, I'm reporting for, to you live from the war. We've been told to cover, and you can obviously hear the sounds of the war and what's going on out here. We've been told, like I said, to hide behind this cover. This soldier is here protecting me and my cameraman. Things are getting very serious out here. We have to take cover. Nobody, nobody's safe out here at all, whatsoever. If it thinks. Oh my gosh. Oh, Cut oh the God. camera! Oh, Cut it! No, Cut so the bad. camera! Oh. Cut it off! Turn it off! Hi, I'm Mr. McCormick here. I made the steel plow, and it's made out of steel, because it is supposed to help farmers plow. It's made of steel, and it's really good for getting in the dirt and cutting things and getting the dirt. It's a steel plow. I made the steel plow in this trusty factory of mine. It's, 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 it's good. I'm, I'm Mr. McCormick here. Thank you, steel plow. Steel plow. Welcome back to Channel 32 News. We have an update on the Mexican-American War. A treaty has been signed by both parties. The treaty is known as the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo, which gives the U.S. the southwest land that the Mexicans controlled. On another note, gold has been found in California. Everyone is rushing there to get as much gold as they can. We go live to Tim on the ground. Tim? So yeah, I was like out there with her, and then she was like doing something stupid. Oh, we're live? Oh, uh, uh, thank you, Tom. I'm live here in uh, California, and uh, it seems to be everybody's rushing out here to get some gold. All right, I'm here with a very own uh, Jimmy Joe out here, and he's a very own 49er. So what, what are you trying to get out here, Jimmy Joe? I'm, I'm trying to get the gold, I'm trying to sell the gold, okay. and then I'm gonna get myself some money. You heard it here first, folks. He's getting the gold, he's gonna take the gold, <laughs> dig up the gold, sell gold. Not in that particular order, but he's gonna do it. Back to you, Tom. Thank you, Tim. Since so many people have moved to California, California wants to become a state. But it wants to be a free state, so a compromise must be made. It seems that the Compromise of 1850 will solve this problem. It states that California will be a free state and a new slave law will be put into place over the nation. The slave law is known as the Fugitive Slave Law. And it says that any slave be, being seen escaping must be given back to its owner. This means if the slave, if you see a slave, you gotta give it back to the rightful owner. Today, we have two white rich males fighting over the fugitive slave laws. One for it, one against. What are their names? Does it matter? No, it doesn't. Let's get into it, boys. Thanks, Tom. Now, I'm here because I wanna talk about the fugitive slave laws. You know, I think that if you know my property escapes, that anybody seeing seeing my property running away should obviously bring it back to me because you know that's what that's what brotherly love is. You know, if my chariot grew legs and ran off on me, I'd expect people to bring it back because if they don't, I'm losing money. You know, because it's not picking my cotton. 
Um, why don't you get your own chair? You're the one that bought it. You're the one that let it grow legs and run away. Why should I get me and my people to go get your stupid chariots man, with legs? Because, man, it ran off and, you know, I can't mistreat it and make it pick my cotton if it's not with me. You know? Yeah, and it's but, getting you oh. in your whole little territory, your little cotton. No, I don't have to get my men to do, you do your, your stuff. stuff. Come, Come on. on. Come on. What the heck? They Come on. Well, we'll, we'll, be, we'll, we'll be right back. Get your with me. Uh... Hey, hey everyone, M my name is, you should come on, I, I like to make, my passion resides, I, woodwork, and, and metal crafting, and y everybody needs what I got, and, and I like to, you know, my muskets, and, and you guys should, how, how long I got left? Yeah, about three seconds. Go to my store! Ha! Muskets! Welcome back to Channel 32 News. A new act has been put in place called the Kansas-Nebraska Act, which is dividing the Louisiana Purchase territory and allowing popular sovereignty. This has led to a flood of people from the south and the north to come into Kansas and decide what kind of state Kansas should be. But when you put a lot of people with different ideas in the same place, a lot of bad things could happen. And bad things have happened. There has been a massive brawl over the decision, and the Senate is trying to resolve this problem now. We go live to the Senate. Tim? Tom, I'm standing here at the Senate, and it seems that things are getting extremely heated. At the, at the Senate here, and uh, no, and, oh, oh, no, you don't like, oh, oh, Summers is beating one of the oh, senators oh, with a cake. Oh, are you catching oh, this? Are you getting this? Oh, oh, oh my oh, gosh. Oh, 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 the senators are fighting oh, each other. Oh, 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 please, please. Oh, right, oh, cut oh, the camera off. Oh, cut the, oh, cut it. Oh, Tim, it looks wild over there. In other news, a new court case has surfaced, the Dred Scott case. In the case, Dred Scott is declaring to be a free man, but the Supreme Court has declared that he should be property and slavery is now legal everywhere. In another news story, a new book has come out by Harriet Beecher Stowe that has taken the, this country and others by storm. The book is called Uncle Tom's Cabin. The book depicts a very abusive slave owner. Here are what some readers have to say about the book. Sir, what do you think about this book? I think this here book is a, is a book of evil. I think it's against God. You heard it here first, folks. People cannot believe what this book depicts. In other news, a man by the name of John Brown has recently attempted to seize guns from an armory for slaves. This has really scared some southerners of, the slave, of slave revolts. We're turning, <clears throat> now we're gonna turn to another headline. A Republican Party is formed with the help of the Wilmot Proviso. The Wilmot Proviso has gotten rid of the gang rule and caused the Whigs to split up. Thus, there is no need. For, there is a need for a political party. The new political party will have platforms like no slavery expansion, free land out west, strong national government, and a national bank. Now, onto our last story of the evening: the new president of the United States, Abraham Lincoln, is dealing with a huge problem. The South is threatening to, to secede due to a fear of property being taken. We have an exclusive interview with the President. Welcome to Channel 32 News' special interview with Abraham Lincoln. I'm Tom Johnson. President, let's get into our first and biggest issue. So it looks like the South's going to secede, to secede Mr. President. What are your plans on getting the South back? Well, let me just tell you this, Tom. I know all the people of America they have made their decision, they have seceded, and we must bring them back. We must unify this country. We are going to war. We will kill every last one of them. First the South, and then the vampires. Um, what, the vampires? Excuse me? I didn't say nothing about no vampires. That's what the media wants you to think. <sighs> well, it seems that the U.S. is going to go to war with itself. I'm Tom Johnson, this is Channel 32. I'm getting breaking news. It's, it seems that Fort Sumter is being attacked in Charleston, North, South Carolina. It seems to be the beginning of a civil war in the United States. God help us.
this is a little short. <laughs> I'm rolling, John. Yeah, I know you're rolling. Just, ah. Stop. <laughs> no! Santa Ana, the leader of Me Mexico, has come into Texas with it with <laughs> Cut. We're not Earlier this morning, Texas declares independence. Hey. Right, yeah. Quiet. Getting something. It seems that America and Mexico are going to war over the land. Oh, the land. We'll just use that first part. Cut. <laughs> News reports show that there has been a treaty to divide the U.S. and Great Britain territory. It's. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Oh. Alright, quiet on set. Okay. Ready? You ready? Okay, action! Hi, I'm Mr. McCormick. I made the the steel plow. Things like steel plows, steel plows, and all steel plows, and I made it. And it's to help help farm and stuff like that. It's still good for you. Hey, hey, get out of here. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna switch the floor. Kill me. And we're rolling. And. Wait, hold on. And. And action. And, and my name is Mr. Musket. And I, I'm here to tell you about come down to my store. Doctor recommends three muskets a day. Muskets a day. And come to my store. Please. You got <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Hey. The Pilgrim's thought by Luke Edwards. I hate you. Dang it. Oh, Frank, I can't believe I have to go to dang school tomorrow. You know how mad that makes me? Like, extremely, I guess? Kind of. Ah! Oh! oh I can't That's a like camera! Ah! Oh. Oh, no! Are you just keep gonna. Uh, you didn't say cut, babe. Cut. Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> that was so fun! Holy, we can't. Ah! Blow you off if you jam Are we not rolling? I tried lightly. Semi mad. You better not be filming my I'm butt. Not, I'm not filming your butt. I'm filming you. You better not. Our position's compromised. Oh my gosh. There's a war going on. We can't. We gotta get out of here. We gotta get out of here. We're not oh my gosh! Oh no! I'll save you! I'll save you! Oh my gosh! Ah! What is going on? They're everywhere! Oh. They're everywhere! No! Oh. No! My friend! Ah! Ah! Oh my god! No! 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 They're coming back! We gotta get to a better position! No! Come on! No! 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 Everywhere! Oh no! Not again! Ah. Die! No! Oh, oh my god! No! Oh, oh my god! What is it? It's, it's everywhere! I'm done. My face! That's a ton.